Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, I don't want to say highly anticipated because maybe you guys weren't anticipating it, but something that I've been alluding to for months now. Um, my winter Bath & Body Works haul. I have said in probably countless videos now and I've probably annoyed the heck out of you um, because I'm always like, well, you know, like I've been moving so I couldn't do a summer haul and I couldn't do a fall haul. So instead, if I bought things here and there, Bath & Body Works or whatever, maybe I did little stories of them on my Instagram, like mini hauls. Make sure you check out my stories on Instagram at Ashley B. Wong. Um, I have a hauls highlight and I hauled a bunch of stuff that I'm not gonna be even mentioning in this video because they're not necessarily like winter items. But as promised, I finally have a lot of stuff to share with you that I picked up for the winter season things during candle day things here and there like I have made so many trips to Bath and Body Works online as well as in store in order to have enough for this video and to share with you guys and I'm really really excited so if you guys want to see everything that I have hauled in the past month or so don't forget to please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when I post and without further ado let's go ahead and get on into it okay should we save candles for last we might as well because I have a bunch of non-candle stuff up here on my tabletop the candles are in a box next to me because they're quite heavy um okay i just want to give a shout out to this item i may have mentioned it in my instagram stories but this is just a pedestal that i got um this retails for 15.95 i used a coupon for it because occasionally especially if you're a my bath and body works rewards member like if you have the app they'll load coupons like periodically like free item up to 16.50 free body care item free item up to 7.50 they like to reward you with coupons and free items and discounts and things like that um, every time you spend money. It's like a point system, right? I display this on my entryway table and I just love that it's a standing pedestal that has a little like leaf detail. Um, I bought this like a couple months ago, so I've had this for a while now. It's giving winter with like the... I'm sorry, I can't stop saying it's giving. If you know me in my real life, like I literally will not stop saying it's giving share. It's giving share. The leaf detail, the branches, like this is really nice for winter for sure, but I also feel like it's something that I could have year round because it's not screaming like polar bear, snowflakes, like exclusively winter. I think it's a great way to elevate your candle display at home. Um, it just adds a little extra nice little touch. So I love this and I've been using this like literally every day. And I don't find that this like covers too much of it, but it does like enough, you know? Okay, let's talk about body care items. I literally, I think I just finished this last night, but um, that's how long I've had some of these items, you guys, and I use this every single day. So this is the Vanilla Bean Noel Ultimate Hydration Body Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. I really like the scent, but I will say Bath & Body Works, I feel like they do not come out with as many winter scents as they do other seasons. Like they have Winter Candy Apple, um, Vanilla Bean Noel. They have a few different scents, um, but I'm saying in terms of like body care. I would love for them to come out with more body creams because there are some scents that I even see in body washes, I think, that I'm like, oh, that would be a really, really nice body cream, but they don't have it. And I prefer the creams to the like regular package lotions in this packaging, just because I like the formula in this better. This is made with hyaluronic acid and shea butter. The body creams are now infused with hyaluronic acid, which hyaluronic acid is a very popular skincare ingredient now because it really helps retain the moisture in your skin. <coughs> I will say though, at $15.50, this is pretty expensive. So I think I used a free item coupon on it or they do send out $8 Vanilla Be Noel or Windy Windy winter candy apple coupons as well and you can use that on this um, but the notes in this are fresh vanilla bean sugar cookies warm caramel caramel whipped cream and snow kissed musk and the scent really just does linger it just smells like vanilla marshmallows that's how I would best describe this I personally am not a huge fan of the candle but in a body cream version I think it's just nice and warm and just a great kind of like not basic but a very like universally accepted like um kind of body care scent speaking of body care i picked up the pure wonder aloe and vitamin e shower gel i have not yet tried the um like body wash creams the ones that come in like the tube like this and my cousin has a bunch of them she really loves them i actually have bought one for her before i've just never bought it for myself i don't know why i think maybe i will try it but i just love this formula a lot i love the packaging and this is a first time scent to bath and body works and i wanted something because i know that this will last me like two to three months honestly like i wanted something that would transcend into winter it wasn't just going to be holiday because i go through body creams much faster than i go through body washes they don't have the notes written on the package but i'll leave them on the screen it's just it's so fresh it's like 
citrusy but floral and sweet it smells very clean that's what i love about it. it smells very very clean obviously the packaging would kind of like speak to that i think with just like the coloring and the design and you can see i've used quite a bit of it because i did purchase this maybe like about a month ago at this point um and i use it every single day i really enjoy this i think if you're looking for a nice winter clean crisp scent that's not too sweet it's not going to leave like a sickly kind of aroma or odor on your body um this is really really nice let's talk about two hand soaps i also bought another one called holiday mistletoe i think i'm using that in my kitchen right now so that's in like my um soap dispenser that i talked about in my amazon favorites which i will link above and below but i purchased two um like a couple weeks ago this one is the slay all day mary berry kiss foaming hand soap and you guys know that i am a huge foaming hand soap person um, I just love the foaming hand soap formula now. That's all I buy. I think this packaging is so cute. They do these little like designs every once in a while um, for different scents um, with cute little like punny names. But this one is Mary Berry Kiss. And the notes in this are winter berries, snowy vanilla, and crystallized ginger. This smells very, very nice. It truly just smells like winter berry. If you're not into fruity scents you're not gonna like this but that ginger note kind of comes in there it for sure balances it out because it's not super duper like sweet you've got a little bit of that ginger note that really is a nice kind of counterpart to the whole um situation and it just smells like a nice fresh winter day but like you're making like a nice kind of like winter fruit tart i don't know i'm not explaining this at all properly i swear scents are very very hard to describe then we have this one which is amazing i keep this in one of my guest bathrooms this is the crushed candy cane um gentle foaming hand soap i typically like buying plain soap packagings to go into my other bathrooms because i have it in a little like holder i have it in a little fox holder which if you guys want to look at my instagram story hauls highlight you'll see it in there but this is just such a good set and i'm so glad i bought it in a hand soap version because the hand soaps of breath and body works they stay on your skin i've said this before they linger on your skin you really get that smell and it just stays on you and i personally really love that because i really feel like that's the whole purpose of bath and body works products um the notes in this are crunchy peppermint white sugar crystals and frosted mint leaves if you're wondering how crushed candy cane compares to twisted peppermint even though i have this in a candle and this in a hand soap twisted peppermint is more vanilla it's creamier this one is more candy cane more fresh still a delicious like a crispy sweet scent that's how i would describe this speaking of mint i have the aromatherapy tea tree and peppermint body wash and foam bath and obviously i bought this a while ago because i am almost done i use this as my bubble bath whenever i take baths and i've grown to really enjoy the bath and body works foaming bath um formula they're very very foamy i don't know why i feel like particularly the tub that i have now is very foamy as opposed to like the other tub that i used to have in vegas like even though my tub right now isn't like a foamy one it's not like a one with jets but for some reason i feel like it, the, the product gets a lot foamier in this one it, it's really weird but anyway this is great this is like i think a new product from their aromatherapy line inspired by the coolness of the winter season blah 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 tea tree and peppermint essential oils so you can use this as like a regular body wash but i just pour this into the bath i do like literally like one two and that's great for me even though it seems like a very like little amount it foams up so nicely and it lingers the bubbles stay very active and foamy for a while which i personally enjoy and it just smells so nice it's just very calming you mainly smell that tea tree but you definitely do get like a whiff of that peppermint as well to kind of differentiate it from like a normal like aromatherapy scent like it's definitely holiday inspired which i think is amazing speaking of aromatherapy that <laughs> reminded me i forgot to go grab an item this is the aromatherapy chamomile and bergamot sleep pillow and body mist now this isn't like a specific holiday one i think they carry this year round i recently decided to buy it because i had like a free item coupon and this just smells really nice you can use it on your body but i just use it on my pillow i mean except for right now just to show you but hmm, it smells so nice the bergamot in here is so good like i don't know how to explain it like it's not sweet it's not a typical like nighttime aromatherapy scent if that makes sense it's subtle it's a great thing to put on your linens before you go to bed that's what i do i just spray a little bit on my pillows and i don't know if it's placebo or not but it, i think like in some ways it does really help you just kind of like ha huh, like you just feel more relaxed like it definitely promotes a more like calm environment or a calm state of mind so i really enjoy it and i mean if you have a free item coupon like definitely i think this is a great thing there's other scents as well but chamomile and bergamot i think it's a great like unisex 
So like I can see everybody enjoying this. Okay, I got a couple of wallflowers and I have winter here to show for you because I currently have gingerbread something uh, in my um, diffuser out there right now. So I can't show that to you. I also picked up winter, which I wanted to buy because I did not buy the winter candle because I was like, well, I don't want to have a winter candle and a winter wallflower that kind of like defeats the purpose. Like I'd rather just have one. I settled on getting a wallflower for it because I feel like it's a great always on scent, right? Like this stays plugged in candles. I just kind of change it out every day. But this is just something that I was like, okay, I'm going to put the gingerbread one on through the holidays which by the way i hope you guys had a merry christmas and a very happy new year i think i might be posting this after the new year or if not then let's make 2022 um great and i hope everyone's staying healthy happy and safe but anywho winter is that biatch it's literally touted as like holiday favorites on the tab because it's so crisp and it's just such a good january to february scent it's citrusy, it's balsamy, and obviously with the wallflower, you know, it stays on and it's really, really good um, at filling the entire room with fragrance. I've noticed that with wallflowers. Two more scent things that are not candles. I picked up, well, I picked up the three for nine, but um, I realized today as I was getting these out of my car, I have champagne toast, which I obviously bought for January because when we switch to the new year, I want to use this because I'm very weird like that. I'm very particular. I swear I also bought snowy peachy berry and I swear I was saving that for after champagne toast. Um, but I guess that's what I have in my car right now because I found out that I have tis the season unopened when the intention was for me to use this in December because obviously tis the season. So now I'm in a conundrum where it's just like, mm, I don't wanna really use that in February because it's not the season anymore. Like tis not the season. You know what I mean? So. I don't know, maybe I'll just save this for next season because I do do that sometimes and I'm not mad at it. Like I have no problem putting away stuff for the next season to use. Um, I actually think that's a very effective and efficient way to go about your holiday favorites and your holiday or your seasonal sense so that you don't waste them and you can optimize the the experience. You know what I mean? Anywho, so these are the two scent portables I got. Love these. Um, I find that some scent portables last longer in my car than others do. Like some of them I stay smelling for months. Some of them I only smell for like a week. Some of them I only smell for like a few days. It's really, really weird. Um, but yes, these are great and must have for me at all times. Let's move into the candles. Now I did purchase the majority of these on candle day. Um, some of them I just purchased regularly or when they were on a sale. Um, this is a new thing that I got. I don't think I've ever bought a single wick candle from Bath and Body Works before. This is a vanilla balsam candle and I bought this to be like my bathroom um, nighttime candle. Um, when I take baths, you know, I wanted something that had a nice neutral packaging so it kind of matched the aesthetic of my bathroom. And whenever I take a bath now, I will light this and it is really good. Yes, it's only one wick, but the throw on this is still very strong. Sorry, you can see it's like mushroom because I burned it. Um, but I bought this a few weeks ago and I'm really enjoying it. The notes in this are, oh, they don't have it on here. God, it is so crazy to me now, guys, that these single wick candles retail now for $14.50. Obviously, I did not buy this at $14.50. I bought this on like a single wick candle sale when it was like $6. But man, everything's getting more expensive. I mean, it's kind of like the state of the world right now with pandemic and how that's affected everything. But this is really, really amazing. I didn't think that I was gonna love vanilla balsam because I feel like I bought it before and I wasn't a huge fan. I was like, how is the vanilla gonna play with the balsam? But it actually works very, very well and it balances out cream. It's like a creamy balsam. So I very much enjoy this. Definitely would buy the three week version of it next season. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I will say though, the candle I have burning right now was not Bath and Body Works because obviously I wanted to get all the Bath and Body Works stuff I had for this video to show you. Um, in front of you, but this is actually a candle my mom got me for Christmas. She got me a bunch of cute little candles, so that is the one that I'm burning right now. I obviously wanted to put the red one on because it's like the holidays. Next up, we've got Twisted Peppermint right here. This is the packaging of the year. Well, actually, in general, Bath & Body Works comes out with a bunch of different packaging varieties for each scent. So if you don't like one version of Twisted Peppermint, there's like typically gonna be another version that could tickle your fancy, if you know what I mean. Um, but I also love doing these haul videos because then I can see year over year what the packaging looks like and how it changes. This one is just like the basic lid component, basic kind of like glass um, container, but it's got a really cute label. I love the pink wax. It's just so festive and a classic, honestly. Crystal Peppermint is not one that I consider to be an essential for me to buy every year, but I was just like in the mood for this year and I was like, why not? Let's do it. Candle Day, I was in that virtual line 
and I, I made it. I was like almost late to dinner with my friend that night. We had like reservations and I was like 6.42. I was like, because <gasps> normally I would like take more time on the website, but I was like, nope, you gotta go. You gotta go. You're on a time crunch, do your thing. And so I did. And here we are. Um, the notes in this are cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, fresh balsam, and hint of musk. It is a creamier version of crushed candy cane. This one's more like crispy and icy, if you will. This one is more creamy. They're both great. Um, personally for me, I think in a candle form, I like this better because it does have that kind of like creamy element to it, which I love. Okay, next up we have the one that I was literally just burning this morning. You can see steam rising out from it. And by the way, guys, I burned all these candles at least twice. Some of them you'll see that I'm almost done with them because I bought them like over a month ago and I've just been like burning, burning, burning them, waiting to get the rest to do this video. This is fresh sparkling snow. This is what the component looks like. Not the best, but I love the little kind of raised detailing. It's cute. It's a little like snowflakes. Um, and I think it does, you know, the scent justice. I have purchased fresh sparkling snow in a body cream before, a body lotion. I wasn't a huge fan of the scent. And to be honest, I am not like a diehard fan of the scent, um, but you know, just brings me back in time to like 2018 or 2019. So weird, right? The notes in this are icy melon, winter pine, and fresh citrus. More than anything, this just smells like a holiday icy melon. Um, so if you don't like that, you won't like this, but I think it's a nice daytime scent. It's creamy with that melon note but it's fresh and crisp and bright from that like winter citrus note um i like it i don't love it okay this is one that i purchased a while ago that you guys may have seen on my instagram story this is marshmallow fireside this packaging is a1 10 out of 10 look at the attention to detail all around with the foiling and the embossing and the lid it's like a beautiful little like snowflake oh by the way the throw on these are both pretty good i would say like seven out of ten for both of these this one i've got to say marshmallow fireside is a classic year over year everyone loves it it's a bath and body works staple however i wasn't so impressed this year sometimes i get them and they have the best throw ever but this one the throw isn't that great i don't know what it is I would say the throw on this is maybe a six out of 10, and I feel like that's being generous. The notes in this are toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. I mean, this is a classic. It is just, just so cozy and nice, but the throw on this is not the best. I have to be honest. I don't know if it's a batch problem. Let me know in the comments below if you agree. Maybe if you've also purchased it, let me know. But yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful, gorgeous, Christmassy, warm winter scent, but the throw is not it's not giving you know okay this is another one that i've had for a while now and this packaging is also a one under the christmas tree look how beautiful that is this is a first time scent for me i don't know if it's also new to bath and body works but look at the little reindeer lid it's so cute and you can see i've used up quite a bit of this over half of it this is an amazing scent the throw on this is also like a seven out of ten these were the first christmas candles or winter candles that i bought um, the notes in this are fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, sage leaves. And I don't like eggnog. I don't really like eggs, so I don't really know what that's like. But I don't have an aversion to it in a candle form because it just blends so well with the other notes. It's like a creamy, fresh balsam. Yeah, it's like a creamy, fresh balsam. And I'm, I'm sorry I keep saying creamy. It's hard to describe scents, but like I feel like if I say that texture, that might make a little bit more sense. But yeah, it's like a creamy, fresh balsam. It's not super, super sweet. It's not super, duper strong, but it just smells like a nice holiday candle. And I know some people have said this has a little bit of a masculine edge to it. I personally can see where they're coming from, but I wouldn't say it's like super masculine because i hate scents like mahogany teak wood i can't do it like fresh fall morning oh uh, not my favorite this i can see it it can smell it if i'm really looking for it but it's not something that's going to be overwhelming but with that being said i think everybody would enjoy that scent okay speaking of fresh balsam i can't open this for you because it's like shut from when i last burned it and i just put the lid on it i love the packaging simple the lid is definitely smaller i don't know if you guys have noticed that but i feel like their lids i don't know if maybe they're trying to conserve uh, raw materials or cogs are more expensive but it's definitely a thinner lid which i'm not mad at i mean it does the job but it's got that nice kind of copper tin and a matte white package which i really enjoy and just like a clear label holographic trees i think it's great very simple very fresh 10 out of 10. this is just an essential i buy year over year every single year i have to buy fresh balsam because it is the most quintessential like fresh tree scent. Like they came up with under the Christmas tree. They have tree farm. They have a bunch of other varieties that are kind of 
um, like springboarding off of Fresh Balsam, but this is just the original. Um, Woodland Balsam, Crispy Eucalyptus, Fir Branches, Cedarwood, amazing. I don't mean to say you're long, it's so good. Anyway, speaking of nice packaging, this is like the same component. You can see they're like sisters. This is my favorite holiday scent every single year. If I had to say my top five favorite Bath & Body Works candles ever, like over any season, this would be in it. Sugared Snickerdoodle, oh my God. This has a 10 out of 10 throw. Literally the best, does not let me down. And you guys know I love a warm gourmand, yummy scent. Warm spices, creamy vanilla, sugared musk. It just smells like a good sugar cookie. Um, and my cousin is more of like a Mary Cookie person. Mary Cookie is not my favorite. I prefer sugar snickerdoodle. That's why I don't have Mary Cookie. This smells like cinnamony. Mary Cookie is more vanilla, more plain. This has like that nice holiday, Oh, sugar cookie scent, it twist to it, it's so good. My number one favorite candle, number one, number uno, numero uno. If you love warm, sweet bakery scents, pick this up, you will not be disappointed, trust me. Okay, hot buttered rum. This is also a new one that I purchased this year. Um, the notes in this are dark buttered rum, warm caramel, mulling spice, and vanilla bourbon. And I saw it on candle day and I was like, why not? Burns really evenly. Uh, it does take a while to burn, I will say, but it burns pretty evenly. And it smells like a candle, salted caramel maybe, but not as intense as that one. This honestly just smells really nice. It's not sickly sweet, which I really appreciate. And I love the packaging. It's got that nice kind of like all around foil. I don't wanna say I'm indifferent, but I'm not like super excited about it, but I'm also not like mad about it, if that makes sense. This is a great solid candle for a nice evening winter scent. Okay, next up we have peppermint hot chocolate. This one is also amazing so good this is i think my first time buying this one as well i love the little um glass aqua component this is like one of my favorite colors and the notes in this are cool peppermint silky milk chocolate and sweet cream um you definitely get a lot of that you get all three of those notes very very prominently even the milk note which would make sense obviously hot chocolate and milk but if you don't like that you will not like this because i feel like sometimes people like when milky scents are too milky it's hard to explain um sometimes they can be overwhelming now i personally think this candle is very well balanced with everything else you smell the peppermint you smell the chocolate everything is equally prominent it's a beautiful cozy sweet kind of winter scent. And the throw on this is also really good. It's like an eight out of 10. Okay, next up we have Christmas cider, one that I accidentally left burning yesterday when I went to my um, family friend's house for dinner because I am an idiot. Um, this packaging is 10 out of 10. They've got the snowflake embossed lid with the beautiful wraparound all around. You can see the little squirrel and the foiling. Shout out to the graphic design team at Bath & Body Works. Nine times out of 10, you guys always kill it. So good. Um, this one does not burn evenly, as you can see. But for me, yes, Yesterday, that was a blessing because it takes a while to burn. So um, yeah, this one is interesting. Not my favorite. It kind of reminds me of Tis the Season, which is not one of my favorite candles. Um, oddly enough, I bought that several times, but I didn't buy it this year. Christmas cider is giving Tis the Season, I think. Like they smell very similar in my opinion. The notes in this are mold cinnamon, crushed clove, creamy nutmeg, and simmering cider. I don't know. Um, I feel like these notes don't blend together as much as I personally wish they did, but it's not bad. Would I purchase again? Probably not. The throw on this is honestly like a six out of 10 because it's funny when I was asking my cousin, I was like, do you think I left it on? She was like, well, I didn't smell anything. So I don't think you did. And she was being completely serious. Um, and so, you know, that obviously is like a very clear indicator that this does not have a great throw. Two more candles, people. This is a new one to me this year as well. This is cinnamon sugar pecan pecan. This is also one that does not burn very fast, but the throw on this is pretty good. It's like a seven, eight out of 10. Um, this smells really nice. It's not super duper sweet. Um, it's very nutty, obviously, as the name would suggest. The notes are cinnamon sugar, warm roasted pecans, and brown sugar. Really, really nice. Um, I love the packaging. I love like the glossy components. I feel like it's really great to transcend into like January past just like Christmas holiday vibes, you know? So love that. Last but not least, we have the perfect Christmas, which I burned on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. This is a great candle. It, again, it does not burn as evenly. Maybe it's like the ones in this kind of like glossy glass packaging that does not burn very evenly because I've noticed the same for all of those. Um, like, like, no, that's not very cute. But performance, five out of 10. Throw, smell, eight out of 10. The smell on this is so nice. It's fresh cut pine, cinnamon, sugar, and toasted marshmallow. If I close my eyes and I know that there's marshmallow in there, I can tell, but 
honestly, like, it's just a great blend. Like, there's no balsam note in this, but it just truly smells like a holiday delight. And it was a crowd placer because I had um, a few of my family members over for brunch on Christmas Eve, and I had this candle on, and I got compliments on it. All right, everybody, and that was it for my Winter Bath and Body Works haul. I hope that this kind of satiated any haul withdrawal you may have experienced over the past two seasons from fall and summer because I did not do those hauls. But um, I love Bath & Body Works obviously so, so much and I am a loyal fan. I'll also burn other candles of course, but I just feel like my heart lies with Bath & Body Works. I don't know. The packaging, everything speaks to me. So please leave me in the comments below what your favorite winter scent is, what you picked up for the winter. If you guys got anything on candle day, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always look forward to hearing like your thoughts and reviews on any of the things that I've mentioned or things that you love or you've tried. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye.